This morning we'll begin chapel with a chapel talk from one of Mrs. Warner Ashley's public speaking students. Please welcome Henry Galinsky. Henry. Yeah, I'm Henry Galinsky and as part of my public speaking class, I'm going to perform a speech. Imagine a cold and rainy Saturday. It is 9.30 in the morning. Beats of sweat are running down your face. You have bruises all over your body. And your biggest nightmare right now is that loud and annoying sound caused by your coach's whistle. Only a fraction of a second later, your nightmare turns into your reality. Without even thinking about it, your legs automatically start moving and you make your way up the hill. Then finally you're back in your old spot with your arms crossed behind your head and the only thing you can hear is the rhythmical breathing of your teammates. You wishfully hope for the nightmare to end, but before you could even finish your thought, the whistle blows again and the next hill sprint is waiting for you. By the time you think you will never wake up, the whistle all of a sudden remains silent and you realize you've just survived the first day of two day, uh, the first day of two day practices. I think a lot of us have experienced this feeling before and I'm sure that all of you would agree with me if I say that this kind of feeling, the feeling you have when you're proud of something you've accomplished just feels fantastic. But now let's imagine a different scenario. Let's say it is a hot summer day. It is th three o'clock in the afternoon. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, and you, you're sitting in your room by yourself doing nothing but fooling around and playing video games. After a while of just sitting there and doing nothing, you smell your armpits and you realize you haven't taken a shower for a week and the only thing you have accomplished since then is a new high score in Call of Duty? Well, I admit that I've experienced this feeling before. And as you may guess, it is not a very good one. Actually, it's a very bad one. It makes you feel like a loser. So if you ever experience a feeling like that, I have one simple su suggestion. Just go to your closet, grab your old running shoes, and go for a long run. I promise it will help you. Yes, I believe in sports. I believe in exercising. I believe that it can change lives and make you a better person. But most importantly, it makes you feel good about yourself. I've thought a long time about how I could use this unique opportunity to be up here and talk to you guys this morning. And I decided to use it as an opportunity to help you realize the importance of sports in our lives. And on the other side, I would like to encourage and motivate those of you who are not yet really athletically active to just maybe go out for a run or simply be outside and do what is fun for you. <coughs> so, having little problems. <laughs> um, yeah, but my personal suggestion <laughs> would be to join a sports team. Personally, I've played on a team on uh, sports on a team since my earliest childhood memory. Whether it was soccer, tennis, hockey, or football, and I just couldn't imagine life without it. Playing a team sport taught me very important lessons about life. The f team spirit and friendship I've developed over that time are simply unique. There are only a few bonds closer than the one you have to your teammate because as a team you fight together through the good and also the bad times. The feeling of winning is one of the greatest feelings you can ever experience. But there will also always be hard times. Playing sports on a team teaches you how to handle losses or tragedies. It will prepare you for, well, more severe periods of your future life. A very good example is the time we're going through right now. 
But if you go through those hard times, as a team or as a community, is always easier. And at the end, it doesn't really matter how talented or untalented you are at what you're doing. Remember what Ms. Schwarnia said a couple days ago in chapel? A wolf is always just as strong as its pack, and a pack is always just as strong as its wolves. I believe in that. So as long as you always give 100% and you're fully committed to your team, you will have success. To close my speech, I would like to talk about the other great aspects about being athletically active. The most important one is definitely that it will provide a healthier lifestyle. And I think it is fair to say that this is something this country has struggled with in the past. But if you just go out every day and exercise, let's say for 30 minutes, that will make a big difference. And if you need help getting started, I can highly recommend the school's personal trainer, Joy Reynolds. She works in the field house every day and just knows everything regarding that topic. Another thing is that if you really like the sport you're playing, it can become your hobby and will give you something else to focus on in life other than, for example, studying. It did the same for me. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have seen me throwing the football in the field house at some point. I'm not doing that because I think I'm a unique talent who's going to go pro. No, I do that because I fell in love with the sport and I just want to get better at what I love doing. It's just, it just makes me happy and it is a great way to spend part of my free time. And even, maybe you're very good at the sport you're playing, so it could help you maybe get you into a dream university. And maybe you're actually really, really good and you're going to be able to take your game to a professional level and make a lot of money from it. And even if that won't happen, and it most likely won't, let's face it, <laughs> you're left with a great life experience. The last piece of advice I want to give you before I have to leave this morning is whenever you show up to practice or anything else sports related, show up with a po positive attitude. Because if you think about it, playing a team sport is limited for most of us. Unless you're going to go on and play in college, those four years in high school are all you have left. Playing a team sport is one of those great fortunes you have when you're young. So don't let such a great opportunity pass by and regret it in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Henry.